touch me. Don't come up here touching me. I'm not. Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my... <laughs> oh, am I supposed to say it? Oh. Welcome back to my hood. <laughs> Anyways. Um... My name is Mia. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And it's a new month. It's February, almost Valentine's Day. Um. And it's that time of the month. It was my time of the month. That's why I look like this. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. Woo! We're not talking about this we're not talking about this we're talking about this you know it's from spongebob yeah yeah all right so this is the february box of the witch's moon box this went to florida with me and i haven't opened it and hopefully nothing's broken okay oh okay so today i don't know if it's still i think it's still the Full moon in Leo. Please. Yes. Well, it's Virgo now, but mm. it's still full moon. Um, it was in Leo yesterday, but I couldn't celebrate it because I was on the road again. But um, our card says abundance. That's it. That's our oracle card reading. A boon dance. Okay. And this is the key. I got the keys, keys, keys. And this month's box is called Witch of the Woods. No. <laughs> Witch of the Woods. I, I want to live in the woods. I want to live in the woods. Can you please stop doing that? Okay. okay. And this is brown. This is what we see when we open it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After we eat. Uh oh. Because I'm hungry. I got things to do. I'm about to go. Ooh. So I feel like. Whoa. They gave us like a lot of plants. Ooh. This is foxglove. This is poisonous. Okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. So. Exclusive Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. What? By Scott Cunningham. Where to book it? Where? <gasps> Whoa, what the hell? That's cool. I don't know what this is, but that's cool. I think it's a... I don't know. We'll get to that later. But this is the book. I love books. Witchy books only. <gasps> wow! It's a book! It has herbs in it. I love this. This is so nice. <gasps> May the gift of, I don't know, I think that's a god, bring true strength and potency to your craft. Bless B. And I write my name on it. It says the witch's moon. How cute. Look at it. Oh my gosh. And it has like, it has pictures. Do you see this? This is so fucking cute. Oh my god. Look at it. That's cute. Isn't it cute? Look at it. It has, it has deities, it has the, um, the name of it, and what's the actual name of things? You know how we're humans, but our name is, like, homo sapiens, whatever, the scientific, yeah, the scientific name of it. <gasps> and it got a bookmark, bitch. And it has the folk names of it, the gender, the planet it corresponds with, the element it corresponds with, the powers of it. And it's ritual slash magical uses. This is so cute. I, I'm in love. I think I'm in love again. And that's gold. I look at the Don't that feel like a good book? Yeah. Okay. So, girl, it's been five minutes. We are now on the first thing. Okay. Sorry. Oh, and this is a book stand. Oh, let's try this out. Oops. That's cute. 
That's cute. You see this? And do it like my mama. That's the book stand. Okay, that is so cute. I, I'm, I like wood things. I don't know why. But anyways. The Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs was created exclusively for the Witch's Moon. So they made this book just for the Witch's Moon. That means not a lot of people got this. Your ghetto is showy. Just kidding. Um, as a gold ribbon for a bookmark. Yep. And I'm not going to read all this, but he was the guy who made this, Scott Cunningham. I've heard of this man in the witchy community, okay? I think I even have a do I have a book by him? I don't know. Or oracle cards? I don't know. I think I do. Okay. But he was... His work, Wicca, A Guide for a Solitary Practice. Yes! I heard of this man! A member of the Serpent Stone family. Yep, it's a go-to guide to give you quick information. I'm in love. Alright, that's all I'm gonna read because this is long and y'all don't want to hear that. Okay, and then we have the hand card book stand. I'm not going to read that. It's just a book stand. And our, we got these um, these grimoire pages. Okay, our Book of Shadows artwork. All these beautiful flowers are poisonous. They're poisonous. And I've heard of Wolfsbane. Okay. I've heard of Mandrake. And I have definitely heard of Foxglove. But I have not heard of Belladonna, Belladonna, and Datra. Datra? Hello? And all these flowers are so pretty, but they could kill you. They could kill you. So, just in case I have a person who want to act up, just a little herb in there. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> what? Sorry. Okay, so I guess we're gonna start start off with this. Hold on. Is it feminine or masculine? I don't know, but I could look it up in my book if I wanted to. Okay, anyways, uh, we're gonna start off with this Datra. No, let's start off with Mandrake. This is Mandrake. It looks like those things from, was it from Doctor Who? You were sleeping in my video. Is it the, from Doctor Who and they lift it up and they start screaming, ah! What? That was Harry Potter. Oh, it is from Harry Potter, huh? Whoops. Is that what that is? Is that what this is? What? This herb. Are you sure? Hmm. What was the the plant called in here? I don't know. Okay, anyways. Um, we're going to start off with this one. Mandrake. And it's considered a potent aphrodisiac since ancient times when worn. Mandrake promotes prosperity in matters of love and fertility. The roots striking appearance to the human form was commonly included in the image to energize the spirit within puppets and gris gris bags. Ritualistically soaked in milk or water for three days, the root is placed in a prominent space prominent space in the home to protect from illness. Um, this spell unwanted energies and repel harmful entities. Yep. Don't ingest. Yep, cuz you gonna die. Anyways, so that was that one. The next one is Wolfsbane. It's really pretty in blue. It says, Wolfsbane, long considered a vital ingredient for the witch's flying ointment, Wolfsbane is much too to toxic to even handle. Its botanica spirit is now invoked in name only for otherworldly travel, revealing liminal crossroads and opening energetic gateways associated with deities of death, legends to the inclusion of the Deadly herb in funeral. <laughs> That's right. In funeral and necromancy rites. Necromancy. That's mm -hmm. dead things. All of these are dead because you gonna die. Keisha, mm -hmm. you. I don't. I've said this in my videos a lot of times. How 
Um, every time I get the Witch's Moon box, it is like divine timing of what I'm, I'm going through. And it just so happens that they send me this and we just got back from the funeral. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Yes. It's crazy to me. Anyways, the next one is this Belladonna. Okay. Long associated with witches, soothsayers, and cunning fold, Belladonna was used to encourage prophetic dreams and visage, a, a, visions, astral travel, divination, attracting people and spirits, and enhancing beauty and seductive qualities. A primary ingredient in the witch's flying ointment, Belladonna opens gateways to other realms through trances and alternate <coughs> states of consciousness in alternate states of consciousness, expanding awareness and understanding the the subtleties of self. That's crazy, yo. Okay, the <laughs> next one is Foxglove. This is pretty. This one's pink. It reminds me of my sister. Mm. This one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pink. Yeah, all of them are poison. I know. Mm -hmm. This one looks kind of Asian-like. <laughs> I hope the camera doesn't die. Where does we at? You don't see nothing. Um, foxglove. A solitary plant of the forest. Foxglove is a staple of the witch's garden. It is baneful yet visionary herb associated with the underworld. The pressed content of the flower must be ritually collected between the minimum hours of Friday evening and to Saturday morning. The resulting attractive placed on the drawn circle center allows one to commune with the fae folk or attract them to your abode. That's nice. And the last one is Detra. Yep, it's white. This one says commonly included as the ingredients of the witch's flying ointment. What is the witch's flying ointment? I don't know what that <coughs> is. Um, promotes Ocular inspiration, inspiration, insight, and including visions, prophetic dreams, and astral travel. Enhances psychic abilities, especially the ability to discern the true motives of others. Ooh. And simultaneously conceal or obscure one's own personal thoughts and feelings. That's what's up. Okay. Now we're going to go to the herbs. Ooh! What? Look at Chris! I don't know who that is. I know. Okay, so we got Snake Spite, which is this. Can y'all see? Snake Spite, Skull Cap, and Mandrake Root. Um, isn't that poisonous? Hello? Mandrake? Didn't, didn't we just go over that? Yep, and we got some. That's cool. Poisonous. They really gave me a poisonous herb. It says poisonous. Do not consume. <laughs> Which is moving. I don't know what y'all just did. Fuck with me if you want to. No, I'm just kidding. Am I? Hmm. Okay, snake bite herb. That's this. And it says magical powers to heal, strengthen, protect, and repel snakes. Oh. The snakes can take in many forms than a snake found in nature. So, bind the plantain with red wool to heed the cure of headaches and place beneath the feet to remove weariness. Plantain is also hung in the car to guard against intrusion of evil spirits. A piece of root in the pockets is bare from snake bites. That's cool. Okay. This poisonous herb that they gave me. A whole market mandrew placed in the home will give the house protection, fertility, and prosperity. Mandrake is also hung on the headboard for protection during sleep. <laughs> Created to attract love and warn to prevent contraction of illness. Where there is mandrake, demons cannot reside, and so the root is used for exorcism. That's cool. And I, again, do not consume because it is poisonous. Let's try it. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, skull cap. It looked like parsley. 
All right. Skull cap or skull cap. That's the same thing. It's used in spells for relaxation and peace. A woman who wears skull cap protects her husband against the charms of other women. Oh, that's what's up. Okay. Now we got our oil. Get the oil. And it's called nature. Nurture. Yep. And it's a smelly. Oh, that smells good, Fran. Mmm, smell that. Energy, earthly abundance is based on protective and healing properties that are provided with the grounding energies of the earth. Anoint your skin and sacred tools. The vibration can exist in keeping anxiety and depression at bay and can and have enhanced the magical oil with cedarwood, chamomile, almond, and green tea, green tea oils. And it has Lumerian quartz in it. That smells good, huh? Mm -hmm. mm. And then... Hello, baby! <laughs> um, I, I haven't shared this on my channel, but my other big dog that y'all have seen a couple times died on February 1st. Yep. Back to what I was saying. Um, the, the, we got some spell candles. Okay, a gift from Gaia. I think that's how you say it, G-A-I-A. -A. What are you doing? She wants to know what it is. It's an incense. You're not going to like the smell. It's too potent for you. Oh. Well, she says it's a snack. <laughs> this is tape. She's like, dang! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, these are the incense. Um, they're anointed gift of Gaia spell work candle with incantation artwork. This is the incantation that we got. Usually, I read it. Well, I'm going to read it. It says, gift from Gaia. I hope I'm saying that right. God, yeah. With the token of flower and flame, I honor earth and all, she exclaims amid... That which sways and stands still, winds and storms, O oh, year, mountains and hills. We give thanks for the herbs, the soil and roots. We give thanks to the ancestors for the bounties and fruits. As sacred this flame is sacred this land. I ask only for guidance that seeks to expand. Upon pure intentions and humble, humble respect, I pay homage to the great silver river? River and allow our energies to connect with this token of flame and flower. I honor earth and all her power. So, mode be so, mode be all right. So, that was that, and that was the instant six. Oh, the yes, yes, okay. The incense sticks are fog ritual incense sticks, and you burn through you burn them during times of stress and anxiety, all the fucking time. <laughs> Am I not really? Um, and then we got our last but not least is our great giver sacred salt. Oh, did that say giver or river? Yeah, giver. My bad. Um, yeah, you know. It's just bath salts. You sprinkle it in there. You got some sandalwood, cedar wood, and white tea oils, as well as poppy, oak, willow, and skullcap leaves poppy. in there. I have some poppy seeds. I don't get drug tested. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and that was it for this month's box. Peace. I love you. Bye. Hello, I'm coming back with the pimple cream. I'm sorry, but I forgot to show y'all this candle. It blended in with the paper, so I didn't see it. But this is the candle. Oh, it's pretty and green. Ta-da! Candle.